Yo what's up Kempsey here and I'm back with another tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can add some pretty cool color corrections on your pictures in Photoshop like I actually got on my background some people or many people ask me how I got this brownish style on there um, it's not completely black and white but it's black and white style but a bit brownish so some people ask me how I made this and it's pretty simple um, pretty easy there are three ways to do it and the first way is the easiest way actually if you got a black and white picture you're gonna use the first way if you got a already colored picture I'll show you the second way and then there's the third way you need a plugin which is called magic book photo looks which makes it a bit more cleaner and you can add a lot of more effects in the plugin but yeah, I'll start with the first way. So you got your logos on the sides. There are these two layers, and you want to have them colored. So what you're going to do is just go in the background folder. There are the boxes and fade as well, but you don't want to color that. You only want to color the background. So you go to the top layer, and you go to this layer effect symbol. It's this round with one half black one half white um, you click it and you click the gradient map and it comes up here in achievements and it's going from black to white that's actually black to white color correction you do want to have that um, so you just click on the gradient and you click on the black color the side of the black color and you set it to a bit brownish color so brownish um, actually press ok you can change this color every time um, if you want to change it just click on the gradient again like so and change it but now you see everything is brown and there are only some white parts of the logo so to get only the logo in a bit brownish style click on the layer and put it Put a blend mode on overlay so that's looking pretty awesome and for now you see your background is a bit colored as well because it was a bit gray not completely black a bit gray and then this is getting colored as well so you're going to to just use that layer and make a clipping mask then this is colored then just duplicate it go on here make a clipping mask again so only these two logos are colored which makes a pretty cool effect and if you wanna if you got a picture which is already colored and you wanna change the color of that like on the background I made for acid <clears throat> for example I want to change the color now to about yellow but you see there are different um, there are different greens in and more yellow so actually if you go on there you click this layer style symbol again and this time you go on use iteration and then you just the U layer you can just drag it but actually like you see now it's yellow but there are some orange stripes in um, and to make that better make it all yellow just go on the blending mode and put that on you then it's all more yellow and um, that's actually looking pretty good you can change that to any color you want pink purple blue green blue and purple uh, you can also change the saturation to black and white or, or to, to just how you like it um, play a bit around with it and you'll find out what you like but that was the way for pictures which are already colored and now I'm going into the, the plugin it's actually the best way and it's looking best after that and it's making it so clean it's putting a pretty awesome color correction on and you can add so many effects with it that's pretty awesome 
for that just disable these two things and I'm gonna make a black I'm gonna make a new layer drag it over it really it's a clipping mask and I'm gonna color it black and then duplicate the two layers your two logo layers put that over that and you're going to merge it down with this black background thing so you merge down the layers um, then what you're going to do now you got your layer and filter magic bullet photo looks so that's a plugin which normally costs but there are many download links on YouTube I won't put a download link in the description I'll put the name of the plugin into the description you search it on YouTube and you will find tons of download links I don't want to have a strike on my channel so I d won't put a download link in the description but just search it on YouTube and you'll find it and yeah so you just go into it make sure the layer you want to have the color correction on is selected and then loads and loads and loads and you got your file here so actually that's what is under the boxes at the end so I don't know why there are black stripes or something like that <laughs> anyway um, now you just go on on looks and there's like SIBO CC's there are color corrections I downloaded for After Effects there are a lot of color corrections I downloaded so there are some pretty awesome color corrections in already like put on green warm make it cool with a bit bluish or black and white there are some pretty cool color corrections already in or black and white and then sepia which makes it brownish and that's actually what we are going to do just see if you have big grain for example or see if you have controversy um, it's all about the same and it makes it a bit brownish like I made but now I want to show you how you can make that with your own things with your own effects just delete everything which is in here that you can start with your own so you go on the tools bar and it comes up and there's this you go on gradient and put that in actually there's this thing I'll just put that down I don't want to have a gradient on there so now what you're going to do is putting that on a brownish style like that and then you got a bit brownish then you just press ok uh, maybe you hear my dog in the back <laughs> pretty annoying anyway um and it loads now and you see there's this brownish style on it makes it pretty clean like if you see that and the difference it's clean it's not with these white things it made it pretty clean that's actually really cool um, that's the end of the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it just play around with the colors you want to have um, if you put a gradient over something you need to know if the color which is already there like is red and you put a gradient over when you put like a blue gradient it will get more purple it will mix if you have white and you will put blue on it gets blue so it's always not every time you put a gradient on it's the color you have chosen in the gradient it also depends on the color you have under the gradient and all that um, that was a pretty basic tutorial it's nine minutes long now it's so long because I showed you three ways normally it only would be like two or three minutes long so you can make a color correction in about less than a minute it's pretty fast pretty easy it was just basic and it's always pretty good if you finish your work and then put a color correction on then you see how it looks and it's pretty um, if you have magic bullet looks uh, magic bullet photo looks or you wanna get it then use that
because that's the best way how to make it. Um, I rushed that a bit. It's maybe the longest way because you need to find out the best settings there. You can add so many other effects there, like edge softness, whatever. Um, it's a pretty cool plugin, so it's worth to download it or to buy it. Um, but yeah. And that was the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed, and please like, comment, and favorite this video. Also, if you haven't, if you aren't subscribed to me yet, please go and subscribe me. And yeah, I'm coming with the next tutorial in the next few days. Also, I'm planning to do a speed art in the next few days. So stay tuned on my channel and watch my next upcoming content. So yeah, thanks you. I'm out.